let's move on with the crap. Let's talk about some fun stuff. This is from Bloomberg. Power World. Talk about Power World. A success story. A feel-good story. Pocket pair. Will consider partnerships or takeovers, but no IPO. I don't know what that means. Uh, biggest independent Power World was crafted from the outset, according to its creator, Taroko Misobi. That talks about how, you know, he just wanted to make a game for fun. Multiplayer elements. And that small 55-person studio, which is amazing, ended up making a game after recognizable and inspired by Nintendo's Pokemon. But they wouldn't get farm if the game was merely a copycat. Also borrowed ideas from the hit game. Of course, it kind of talks about how they took from Pokemon, Ark Survival, Factorio, Rimworld. All of it was kind of a... Uh, yeah, they took too much exactly. It, that's what he... I think they further goes on. That just took all these things and put together, which, you know, is, I guess, in a way, creativity. You just, everything is derivative. Uh, the bodies remain in the game meaninglessly. Typically, when you kill a monster or enemies, they just disappear. Colleagues were <laughs> against leaving useless bodies in the game, but I pushed it through it because I thought players would find a way to play with and talk about it, which I think was brilliant. Everyone loves, you know, when you first uh, start the game up. And you kill like a lamb ball and it's like dead body just keeps rolling down the hill. That was a great moment. You know, there's a certain humor to the game that's uh, splicing the genres. It's evident, which I think is kind of the X factor of it, where it sort of has that sort of dark humor uh, where you expect, you know, Pokemon, but then you have like dead bodies rolling around. Uh, none of the earlier games could have prepared the studio for the running success of Power World. The $30 title generated more than 25 million players in just a month. One of the fastest debuts in the industry history and delivered a major hit for Microsoft's Game Pass. A cartoony monsters, photorealistic environments, unusual art. So it's kind of like a weird juxtaposition of stuff. And then thankfully, he kind of talks about we and will we are and will remain a small studio. I want to make small games. Big budget AAA games are not for us, which say great news. Uh, they don't want to overextend themselves and make crappier stuff. Who is the chief executive owns the entire company, which this is actually pretty interesting. He's the chief executive director and owns the entire company. See small studios as the biggest pioneers in game design, which kind of bodes well, as long as he sticks around, he can kind of steer the ship. I think a lot of the issues with a lot of games right now is there's no one in charge of it. There's no like single person with a single vision that could say like, hey, this is how we should do it. It's all like executive committees, you know, stockholder, you know, CEOs or shareholders, all that stuff. You know, it's all businessmen at top and, you know, all these sort of bad decisions being made up there and where the creatives have to kind of work around it and make something out of it. Complete lack of direction. Having a single guy at top, I think, definitely helps. Uh, I think that's actually one of the reasons why Japan, uh, I think, delivers higher quality games than a lot of Western studios. Power costs less than a billion, six point seven million to make, and has returned tens of billions of yen in profit, an amount that's too big for the studio with our size to handle. The company doesn't plan to doesn't plan a spending spree on more staff or financial efforts. Said the CEO who had previously been a tech engineer at J.P. Morgan, doesn't plan to offer shares in Pocket Bear on publicly traded markets. So they're keeping it in-house. CEO isn't confident that Pocket Bear could create another game as wildly popular as Power, which is definitely smart and true. Probably not. This probably is lightning in a bottle. More than 2 million simultaneous playing at one point, rattling the biggest and best titles on PC, but you sure about the winning recipe for games today? Games are most fun with playing with friends. A game without a multiplayer mode it just doesn't feel right in the era we live today, which could be a bit of a hot take. I, I still think single-player games are fun, uh, though I do like the sort of uh, social element you can have with single-player games. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know if Dragon's Dogma is uh, single-player or not, but I think it's mostly single-player. And I think that's definitely going to be a big hit. At least it's shaping up to be. And of course, you know, he had stuff like Boulder's Gate 3. That did really well. But yes, the multiplayer element, I think, was a huge factor in 
Power World success and something that you know Pokemon just hasn't been able to deliver on in a real way.